One day, like any other, you innocently open your mail and receive a letter from some company saying that you owe them a debt, perhaps from a mortgage company decades ago, threatening foreclosure. But this was taken care of long ago, you say to yourself with certainty. So you throw the letter out and you move on, believing that there's no danger here. Whew. But then, a few weeks later, there's another letter, and this one strikes a different tone. This one isn't just asking you kindly to contact them. This one is aggressive in nature, making demands with directives informing you that your mortgage from 2006 is now due and that foreclosure is imminent. Today, I'll be addressing the question, what are zombie mortgages? And then, towards the end, I'll be addressing a few questions, including, including how you can avoid a zombie mortgage and what to do if you see evidence of a zombie mortgage in your home. The term zombie mortgages, which are often just second mortgages that were thought to have been resolved, caught on after the 2008 financial crisis when so many filed for foreclosures, uh, bankruptcies, or work out some sort of a deed in lieu of foreclosure. Owner financing became more prevalent too, and properties may have changed hands without proper legal handling. Sometimes people filed for foreclosure with the belief that their mortgage debt had been forgiven. Maybe they filed for bankruptcy, opting for a fresh start. Other times, ownership of a debt just vanished, so you had no idea who to even send your payments to. Maybe there's a home equity line that you thought was satisfied when you sold your home like 20 years ago. Or maybe there was a recording error during the transfer of ownership. These are just a few examples that I've heard of over the years. Look, the purchase and sale of real estate foreclosures, inheritance, and the like are very complex processes. Sometimes we hear what we want to hear, or maybe we want to believe what we're told. But things aren't always as they seem. Sometimes monsters are more real than we think. Sometimes the stressors of life almost encourage us to just move on and leave them buried in the past and we soon forget about them. But just because you think the debt was settled doesn't always mean that it was. Sometimes owners of old debt, you know, perhaps a former mortgage company, have a lawful right to their money. If they do, they may emerge from the debt seeking their money years and years later like zombies that have arisen from a cold, dark, earthen tomb. Sometimes these old debts are sold off for pennies on the dollar, so the new owners are just betting that they're going to get their money sooner or later. Perhaps they're paying outsourced labor to relentlessly hound you like a zombie for years and years, potentially placing liens on your assets. Before I get to answering those questions that I promised earlier, if you're finding value here, hit the like and the subscribe buttons, and if you'd like more content like this, then hit that little notification bell down below. With the historically low pandemic era interest rates and rising home equity levels, the popularity of the home equity line has remounted. The home equity line or, or loan is usually a second mortgage that allows homeowners to tap into their home equity. As such, I do not believe these zombie mortgages are forever dead. As long as there's a mortgage, I believe there's the potential of a zombie mortgage. I believe there are plenty of them just waiting to come up from their graves as interest rates rise and homeowners eventually have difficulty making payments on these second mortgages whenever hardships arise. So how can you avoid a zombie mortgage? Well first, ensure that you use a reputable title company or a lawyer depending on what state you're in. I'm sure your Uncle Ted is a great guy and has been doing this stuff for years and years. I'm sure he has all kinds of knowledge of all things real estate. But look, things change. And if Uncle Ted is knowledgeable of all the legal jargon and the procedures to properly transfer title, it could lead to your financial ruin long after Uncle Ted is dead and gone. Keep your old records. Now I know that it can be burdensome, it's a real headache, but just keeping the basics of a transaction can save you from future zombie mortgages. If you don't know where to pay a mortgage and you're unable to find answers, set up a separate account and set that money aside. Keep paying it. That way, if a zombie does appear, you'll be able to stare him down with confidence and watch him flee. So what should you do if you receive a letter about a zombie mortgage? Well, like seeing any zombie, don't ignore that thing. Look, I get it. Zombies are scary. They move slowly and they relentlessly keep coming, but you must deal with them. Ignoring the claim of a zombie mortgage could be the very worst thing that you could do. Be certain that it's not a scam though. Be sure there's some sort of reason for you to believe it's legitimacy. Verify that claim. Perhaps ask for something in writing with evidence of the debt. Maybe do a Google search on the company making the claim. Maybe call them back and see if they even answer the phone. Look, it doesn't matter. Whatever you need to do, just do it. But make sure it's legitimate. Give it the smell test. Scams often have a sort of an odor to them. Something usually just feels a little off. 
there are all sorts of scams out there, so don't just go writing checks to pay someone off just because they say that you owe them, thinking it will solve all of your problems. Your first step should be to contact an attorney for legal advice. Look, I am not an attorney and I do not provide legal advice. Can I recommend an attorney here in Central Florida where I help consumers buy and sell homes? Yes, I surely can. But either way, you should first consult an attorney. Gather the documentation for your situation and share it with the attorney. A good attorney will want to start with the facts and your documentation is a great starting point. They're going to likely start by verifying that the claimant is entitled to their money, that it's legit. Maybe they'll suggest a quiet title action, maybe negotiating a payoff or some other means of a settlement. The owner of that zombie mortgage will want their money, but they may be willing to settle. Maybe that attorney can get that debt released or maybe even prove that it's not legitimate at all. Surviving an attack from a zombie mortgage is possible, but you've got to take action. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.